what I would do in that particular instance would have an offshore um, processing center that, like on a on a on a on a tanker, a converted tanker, uh, parked outside Dover. You don't actually set foot on land. You just get taken straight to the tanker. You get processed like a, a Sylvester Stallone movie. You know what's that one called? Escape Plan, where he's imprisoned on a tanker and he has to escape from it. Uh, something like that. And I'm not really joking when I say that. Obviously, a little bit more humane, and you just uh, process them immediately. And if you don't, if they don't accord to a set of criteria, then you ship them straight back. And once they realised that was the deal, then they would stop crossing eventually because they'd be like, "Well, we're not going to go through with that because none of us ever make it onto the land." So lots you can do. This is the thing. There's a lot you can do, and maybe talk about this later in the program, but there's an awful lot you can do if you have the government that's got the mentality that wants to do something about it. Our problem is not the, even the numbers of immigrants coming. Our problem is that we have a ruling class that is not interested in stopping this problem. And so we have to ask, why is this ruling class not stopping this problem? Is it because there are people who don't want it stopped? Is it because the people who fund the British political system don't want it stopped. You know, I had uh, uh, a workman came round to our office last week and he was looking at the various stuff in the office and he realised that we were into politics and we started talking about politics and he goes, you know, the trillionaires, he said, who run the world will be prepared to spend billions to ensure that they can keep making trillions and I thought, that's a very good way of putting it, actually. And these people don't care. They don't care about things that we care about, like having a nation. They don't care about that. They just care about continuing to make trillions of pounds. And in those efforts, they will be prepared to spend billions. Well, we're not asking for billions for our Christmas crowdfunder, but we will be asking for 5,000. I'll speak about that in a moment. <laughs> 